So we got uh, another introduction for our speaker event that's happening, uh, Lead Yourself, this May 10th. And I have the honor of having Jane Watson in the car, so thank you for doing this, Jane. Happy to. And we're just super excited to have you at the event and speaking this year. Um, this is be your first time speaking at the event. It's the first time speaking with Lead Yourself. It was the first time being a part of the group this year. So. That's awesome. And uh, you're going to be doing your talk with your husband, John. That's right? right. That's right. We actually decided to do this talk based on training we had done together, so it seemed appropriate that we were there together. Cool. And I know you had done this a couple of months ago with our group yeah. um, at the Leadership Lunch around this thing called Imago. Right. Now, the first time I heard it, I thought of uh -oh. like sushi. <laughs> I thought it was like unami or yeah. unami. Anyway, not nearly as tasteful, tasty, but low calories. So. But I realized that's not what it is at all. Not at all. So maybe you could just break it down quick. What's, what really the heck quick. is Imago? Uh, so Imago was something that we were trained in in terms of um, relationship skills, uh, learning skills, uh, listening skills specifically. Um, so we took basically what we learned in that training and we modified it for what's worked for us specifically and then um, for me I use it at work all the time so we kind of modified it again about how can you use this in business so for me it started in relationship therapy marriage therapy which I have no qualms admitting that we needed and frankly if I've said this to John many times if I could give a wedding gift to a couple it would be here's money for marriage therapy you're gonna need it right. and here's <laughs> go, go do some amago and go do some amago and do it early and do it often because it'll save you so much stress that's huge yeah. I remember going through the session too and it being really valuable so awesome. if you could summarize the essence of the amago yes so it's actually when people say um, you know you're not listening to me these are actually the steps the five steps that actually you can do so you guarantee that you know how to listen it's one thing to say I'm listening it's another thing to actually listen <laughs> and no one tells you that so no what, one, you don't you learn that, yeah, exactly. that I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna say before you finish talking that means I'm not listening yeah that's totally true and yeah. it's interesting too because um, in our like at, at work our, our training program specifically around our, our salespeople there's a lot of you know questioning strategies and to better understand you know where this what situation someone's in but at the beginning of it they're always thinking about what's the next question yes. instead of just being in the moment and listening this, to people when they speak yeah there's a lot of um, philosophy and theory of training out there these days about being in the moment but again it's one of those terms that's thrown around and you know, how do you be in the moment and frankly I'm terrible at being in the moment like it's not my strong suit like meditating for me is an anathema like I I, ugh, I can't meditate I can't I, I'd love to be able to say I can get really zen but I can't so this gave me the tools to be in the moment with my partner to make sure that they feel heard and and ultimately it's the one thing that John says which is absolutely true is that if you do this and you follow the steps it works 100% of the time but it's really deceptively simple Right? It's, you know. Well, and it's interesting too because the caveat there was if you use it correctly, yes. it'll work 100% of the time. Yes. It's this quick little story about this uh, fighter pilot who was talking to this guy who was installing a new ejection system. And he said, Oh, this is, you know, what are you doing? He's like, I'm installing a new ejection system. He's like, Oh, that's great. Like, how good is it? He's like, Oh, it's it's 100% effective. And he's like, Oh, no one's died before using it? And he's like, Oh, I didn't say that. And he's like, What do you mean it's 100% effective? How did anybody die? He's like, well, you have to use it for it to be effective. Exactly. And know when to use it and how to use it and when to push the button. Right, yeah. The push the button on the ejection seat is like the timeout feature in Imago, right? So that's it's cool. Like, so how does it translate then into leadership and, and leaders and how they use it? So leaders, um, more than anyone, know how to, need to know how to listen. They need to know how to listen to the constituents, their employees, their community. So um, again, it's something that I believe translates from simple couple therapy that can be a much bigger thing. It does modify it and change it um, because you're listening to many as opposed to one, but the principles are inherently the same. And so I think that uh, for me, uh, within my own business, with my um, employees, with my um, with my sister who owns the business with me, um, I've employed these techniques so that I make sure I understand and don't jump to conclusions. And, and with my staff, don't jump to um, assessments that are not accurate. You know, give my, them the chance to be really heard and make sure I ask the questions and make sure I say, did you get hurt? Do you feel hurt? Even that idea of validating that is super important. <laughs> that was Carly O'Brien. We're going to go for a ride, so I was just <laughs> caught on camera. 
But anyway, so this idea of uh, validating if someone's been heard as like this such a, that's such a simple idea. Such a simple idea. But if you actually ask someone, did I get you? Most of the time, if you haven't actually done these steps, they'll go, well, not exactly. You know, so this is the or, chance to yes. yes. And if you get the yes, then you're like, awesome. Is there more? Cool. And then they'll go, no. And then you can take it to the next step, which you have to come to a conference with. Nice. And so on that note, if you want to register for it, I think there's like 12 or 14 tickets left right now. Uh, and you can register if you go to Eventbrite and search uh, Lead Yourself Guelph. You'll find the event. You can just register there. Tickets are 60 bucks. I'm looking all over the place because I don't know where to look on your phone. Yeah, so it's all good. Gonna be all over I think it's here. Oh, there you go. Where your finger is? Yeah, okay. Now I know. Wait, no, it's this one. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I was doing it too. <laughs> okay, so I'll be little. Anyways. And, and then if you use your mouse, you can go to Eventbrite and it's uh, lead, lead Yourself Guelph. Okay, thanks for doing this, Jim. Thanks. You're the best. Bet. Cheers. Okay, bye.